In today's video, we'll be talking about some of the biggest catches of all time. Like this fish that'll make you scared of noodling, or this one that'll make you scared of getting in murky waters in general. Rocky the Lobster This is one lobster that's sure to feed more than just two people. But luckily for it, thanks to its kind-hearted angler, it won't be cooked anytime soon. Robert Malone from Cushing caught the animal in his shrimp nets while out on the main coast. Upon discovering it, he turned the toddler-sized crustacean to the aquarium at Booth Bay Arbor. The lobster is said to have measured 40 inches long and weighed 27 pounds, four pounds heavier than the aquarium's largest specimen. According to Elaine Jones from the Department of Maine Resources, though, all the weight is in its claws. Given a chance, the lobster could effortlessly break someone's arm. Ugh, maybe that's why he was released back into the wild. Giant Catfish A few years ago, anglers in northern Thailand caught a giant catfish in the Mekong River. The fish, measuring nearly 9 feet long and weighing 646 pounds, is about as big as a grizzly bear. For years, this catfish was the largest freshwater fish ever recorded, at least until the Mekong Stingray was caught, which we'll talk about later. The fisher struggled to haul this thing in for an hour. It appeared like the country's inland fishery department was going to use it for a breeding program. However, despite best efforts, the bear-sized catfish died. Instead of throwing it away or keeping it for studies later, officials opted for the villagers to eat the catch. At least it was useful in some way. The Mekong Stingray This is the sea animal that stole the crown from the Mekong giant catfish, the Mekong Stingray. Jeez, what's in that body of water that made animals grow this big? Anyway, this 13-foot behemoth weighs 661 pounds, dethroning the catfish by 15 pounds. A fisherman caught it on the evening of June 13th of this year, actually. According to Chi Sela, a member of Wonders of Mekong, the fisherman contacted their team the following morning. On receiving the report, the group headed to the site to weigh the stingray. Afterward, they released it back into the water, as it renewed the hope that large freshwater fish, a group of critically threatened animals, could once again thrive in that area. Giant King Salmon Every angler dreams of eventually catching the biggest fish, so their name may be immortalized in the record halls. Well, this man fulfilled that dream decades ago, and to this day, nobody's dethroned him. Wes Anderson was fishing on the Kenai River, the world-famous Alaska salmon stream, when he hooked a fish that gave him the fight of a lifetime. While tugging on the bait, the fish managed to pull Anderson around in his little boat. After reeling it in about three times, Anderson realized using the line was futile, so he instead used his hands. Boy, no wonder it was too big to haul. The fish weighed 97 pounds and was 5 feet long, which is as big as some people. Maybe not as heavy, though. Pacific Bluefin Tuna Honestly, I wish this purchase was worth it, because as much of a foodie I am, I can't fathom spending $3.1 million on a single fish. Sushi chain owner Kiyoshi Kimura purchased an enormous 612-pound Pacific Bluefin Tuna in an auction at a Tokyo fish market. The Kiyomura Corporation, which Kimura runs, footed the bill at over $5,000 a pound. Usually, this fish sells for only up to $40 a pound, at most $200, though. So, this is pretty much an exponential increase. Who knows, maybe the tuna will bring profit to the company at the end of the day? According to them, the gigantic tuna can be turned into more than 12,000 pieces of sushi, which, yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. Swordfish we usually get upset when we have to reschedule a trip or vacation. After all, we go through a lot of things just to get that work leave. But this couple's rescheduled trip turned out to be one for the ages. Bill and Debbie Lassier went on a swordfish trip on Isla Morada with fishing captain Nick Stanchik. While there, Bill ended up reeling a 757.8 pound swordfish, one which broke previous Florida records. Bill fought the fish for eight hours before managing to drag it in. During that time, the swordfish even dragged the boat 20 miles from where they first were. I bet that scared everybody on board, but hey, at least Bill won in the end. What a vacation. The Black Marlin A fish went viral on social media back at the end of 2018. Why is that? Well, because it nearly broke the world record for biggest Black Marlin caught. Rob Crane and Captain Russell Gage were aboard Crane's 56-foot yacht about 20 nautical miles east of Lady Moosegrab Island in Queensland, Australia. They caught a lot of fish during that trip, with some weighing in over 600 pounds. However, in mid-afternoon, something caught their attention. A massive black marlin was trying to eat their lure. Of course, both jumped at the opportunity to catch it, and catch it they did. When they brought it to shore, they found out that the giant weighed 1,431 pounds, just a couple off the world record. 
Eh, maybe next time, guys. Striped Bass. A few of us do know about the New Hampshire 60-pound striped bass record, but I bet only a few would actually know about the Chesapeake striped bass. At Chesapeake Bay, Mike Smedley took his son out striped bass fishing. The place wasn't new to him or his family, and in fact, he says it's the best spot that he knew for world-class fish. They catch countless 40-pounders there, with a few dozen hitting the 50-pound mark. However, his youngest son got a 60-pound striped bass that day. Could it be beginner's luck? Eh, hey, who knows. Either way, that's one way of starting your fishing journey. If I were him, I'd be pumped by throwing my reel back in, hoping to find an even bigger one. Goliath Grouper These two were on a mission. They would catch a Goliath Grouper that weighed more than their boat. Not an easy feat considering the vessel was only about 550 pounds. To achieve their goal, they'd have to come across one of the largest groupers in Florida. They started the trip pretty easy. They were going to catch Benito. However, within minutes of casting the line, the reel began screaming. They caught a huge snook, but that's not what caught their attention. It was the grouper that was trying to eat the snook. It took a while, but the duo captured the monster grouper. They estimated the weight of the fish to be about 600 to 700 pounds before letting it go free. Mission success. Alligator Gar. Alligator gars are mean SOBs, but apparently they are also pretty easy to catch. Looks like some water chimera, I mean, just look at the snout. You wouldn't want to be caught in that. Anyway, this guy went to Trinity River, Texas to catch himself one of these guys. Surprisingly, it didn't take long for him to find one. He struggled for sure, seeing as the alligator guard dragged the boat down to the body of water, but that didn't stop him. He and his partner eventually managed to catch it after a couple of failures. They estimated it to be about 92 inches in length with a weight of about 230 pounds. Honestly, these things look more reptile than fish. Yellowfin Tuna While this one isn't as big as the previous entry, it can still hold its ground. I bet this one could actually produce 9,000 pieces of sushi. Why is that? Well, it's because it's the largest yellowfin tuna ever caught. One of the people on board must have leaked the catch out because by the time the entire crew returned from Hurricane Beg, Mexico with their spoils, a mass of news reporters, film crews, photographers, and even excited onlookers were already there. Everyone held their breath when the time came to officially weigh the fish. The historic catch rested on the scale at a staggering 445 pounds. Seeing the number, the crowd erupted in cheer as John was bestowed the honor of landing the largest yellowfin tuna. Great White Shark Imagine finding out that a 2,000-pound great white shark was roaming around your area. Pretty scary, right? But now imagine being one of the crew to catch that great white shark to tag and monitor it. Even scarier. But, hey, that's what happened. A great white measuring 15 feet and 2,000 pounds was reported to have been swimming along the U.S. East Coast. This prompted OCEARCH, a nonprofit that tracks marine life, to find and tag it. Once they did, they realized something. It was Unamaki the shark they caught in Nova Scotia some time ago. Now, because of the tracker, the organization hopes to find where Unamaki will give birth, exposing a new white shark nursery. Wonder what they'll do with that info. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Usually we estimate a fish's weight in numbers. This guy, though, he's estimated in food. The Giant Dash Colossal Squid. Niko Etarevich, a commercial fisherman at Hilo Harbor, caught a giant squid in Hawaii. He told news reporters that he first thought he caught a manta ray, but after the creature swam close to the boat, they realized it was an ika, a type of giant squid. Immediately, he tried pulling it up, but failed. He thought it was gone, but it soon resurfaced. That time, Niko was ready. He grabbed it and pulled it by the head with all his might. The rest, as people say, is history. Niko's squid weighs around 33.5 pounds and measures about 5 feet long. According to him, it should be enough to make a hundred plates of calamari. Curious how much he would actually charge per plate, though. Warsaw Grouper. Wonder how these fishermen do it. I had to drag something this heavy out the ocean, I might as well be breaking my back. Jason Boyle of Sarasota caught a 350-pound Warsaw Grouper two years ago off the coast of southwest Florida. He said the fish bit his line at around 600 feet below water, about the correct depth for this species. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's Research Institute later confirmed his claim. When asked how he felt about reeling it in, Boyle shares that the feeling is similar to that of a freight train hitting his rod. Honestly, who could blame him? He got a massive fish. I'm honestly astonished his rod didn't break, or the guy himself. 
before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, he does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Mahi Mahi Usually it takes anglers a couple of hours to reel in big fish, but not this guy. Only took him half an hour to reel in a giant Mahi Mahi. Jeff Wright was fishing in Maryland when he caught the Mahi Mahi off the coast of Ocean City. According to him, shortly after noon, his rod went berserk. He had no idea what he had caught until he nabbed it off the water. Turns out it was his ticket to becoming a record holder, as his fish beat the former record held by Kim Lawson by 5 pounds. Ironically, this moment happened while he was practicing for the White Marlin Open. Now he doesn't need to compete to get his name out there. See you all next time!